Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, it is a beautiful day if you do choose to go for a walk. Just chilly. Uh, I was doing some Christmas stuff and get a little stressed, and I went for a walk myself today, uh, but had to have the heavy jacket on for the whole thing. Uh, it's mostly sunny out there in Anderson University. Uh, really quite a beautiful one, but uh, if you're out for long, you're probably grabbing for the jacket. Clouds and radar not picking up on uh, much cloud cover at all, and you can zoom out. We're all clear. So after that terrible, uh, severe storm system that moved through parts of the southeast and of course including Tennessee with those deadly tornadoes. It is well off into the Atlantic at this point. We got the rain out of it. That is finally ending. It felt like that rain would never end this weekend and it really didn't. It was just for a couple hours for the Greenville Christmas Parade. It stopped but then it came right back um, and we were it was a really soggy one. So temperatures right now in the 40s and low 50s uh, feeling every bit like winter outside in your next 24 hours. Speaking of winter below freezing at 28. Uh, as we go into tonight and not much warmer tomorrow, maybe a degree or two, about 52 in Cowpens, 53 in Gray Court, 53 for Belton and 54 in Seneca. Your hometown highs in the mountains, upper 40s to low 50s with more sunshine. If you're going tomorrow evening to the magic of lights, it's going to be a great weather, especially when you're in the in, inside your car driving through. And then if you go to Santa's Village, you'll want to bundle up a good bit because it's going to fall into the 30s. Our next big thing, it's going to be a rain chance. Now, it doesn't look like much of a rain chance does it. We're keeping it low confidence here about isolated for Sunday. Uh, that's because we've got a lot to keep an eye on. So next big thing is our next rain chance and it may or may not pan out. Let me show you why. Uh, chilly weather is going to dominate the rest of the week. We're going to be keeping an eye on the Gulf of Mexico. An area of low pressure. This isn't going to be tropical, but it's going to have a good bit of moisture with it. Um, it's going to be on the approach going into the weekend and could help to send some showers our way. Notice this is Sunday when we would have that good coverage of rain. However, if the low stays farther south, it'll keep the rain farther south. And some models are trying to keep that a little uh, farther uh, to the south. So that's the one thing that we'll be watching closely uh, to see how that low behaves and what we're going to be looking at in terms of moisture right now just a 30 percent chance of rain Sunday Saturday looks to be good that area of low pressure should be well south of us at that point so only a, a one day of the weekend will we have to keep an eye out for some rain at this point and then into next week just a slight chance for a shower in the mountains we'll be looking at mostly sunny weather the next several days cold weather in the mid 20s and then just a slight chance of rain to end the weekend now let's